update one on Hurricane Ophelia, which is moving towards the Azores right now, albeit very slowly. According to Force 13 SADOPS, it's got winds of 110 miles an hour and a pressure of 970. The National Hurricane Center slightly lower, going with 100. Category 2 by all accounts, 30.5 degrees north and 34.9 degrees west. Don't get those confused, by the way. It is very easy to do at this sort of latitude and longitude. The storm's expected to move towards the northeast, towards the Azores and the rest of Portugal. And as you may be well aware by now, could pose a extra tropical threat to Europe, which is getting a lot of people excited. Um, it will continue to be rather strong as it moves up towards the northeast. There you can see it on day three as it turns post tropical. It will be not too very far from the Iberian Peninsula, and with the wind field as it is by then, um, it will probably cause some significant gales for the whole of the western coast of Europe and of course in the Azores where we now have gale warnings in effect that have just been initiated in the last hour or so. It's 726 miles southwest of Ponta Delgada which is the main city in the Azores and it's a stage 5 on the CDPS scale mainly owing to its lack of movement. So a gale warning for the central and oriental island groups of the Azores, that's the central and east. Um, in the west there is some rain warnings out there as well, um, heavy rain warning for all of the Azores and there is some high uh, wave warnings in effect in the easternmost of the Azores as well. The chance tropical storm condition on the right hand side um, is uh, potentially um, something to worry about for places as far north as the British Isles and including Ireland as well which the National Hurricane Center is predicting to be under um, a, a post-tropical hurricane landfall um, not too far um, after turning post-tropical which is uh, almost remarkable to see uh, but it is the time of year for this sort of thing if it ever happens so this is what it's going to do as you can see a fairly close pass to the easternmost Azores and then it zips off towards the northeast really accelerates into Sunday and then towards Monday Tuesday it will affect the British Isles and move off towards the North Sea. There it is right now and the sea surface temperatures remain with it somewhat for a while it's on the very edge actually on the periphery there um, it will survive a little bit longer as it moves towards the northeast a little tongue of warmer water there uh, but it is really treading water as it would appear. Uh, wind shear is looking in its favour very much so though, um, so maybe that will keep it going for the next day or two uh, as a significant storm. Some models do still predict a little bit more intensification but as it is right now, category 2, um, it's holding on to that at the moment. Um, no real intensification right now but the eye temperature is fairly warm which indicates a significantly strong cyclone. We've kept it at high end category 2 doesn't appear that it will become a category 3 storm but you never know and it will be another one for the record books if it did so of course this year um, but there it is right now not too much movement it's jogging towards the southeast at the moment by the looks of things and maybe some dry air pushing it off over there as well we'll have more updates on this storm online and on the YouTube page stay tuned Force 13's North Atlantic Monitoring Service has swung into effect to give you regular updates on Ophelia on the web. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13 and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also find us on Facebook, search Force 13 all in text and it's the same on Twitter, at Force 13 is the handle on there. We're also on Skype, add Fool 13 on there and add extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.